guys, I'm Karen and welcome back to my channel, The Dapa When Your Wife in America! So guys, I'm back and kumusta mong tanan? Ang oras na rin guys karon sa Amerika is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So this morning guys, I recorded first uh, part of the TS260 on my parents. And I decided guys, I have to divide it into two parts. It's because I don't want you guys to sit too long and watch the vlog for an so hour. As you see guys, the first uh, part of this DS260 form is from the personal information guys up to the information of US travel of the intending immigrant or the beneficiary. So I have a paper here guys. Actually I have two printouts. I have two printouts here and um, you will also you will also see this printout guys at the very end of your DS260 application. So you will be able to get a chance to print and review all the inputs and information that you put that you put in the application. At the same time, you can also print at the end guys this immigrant visa and alien registration application confirmation which you're gonna bring this on the interview so that it, the intending immigrant or the uh, the beneficiary will needs to bring this confirmation guys during the interview and the second portion of this the s 6 application form will start guys in the section of uh, employment and then let me see guys we will start uh, work education and training information sorry guys work education training information until the social security section of the form so you'll be asked a lot of yes and no questions guys so it's not it's not really difficult on the on the last portion of this application so i'm gonna show you now guys and let's go to the laptop and let's uh, uh, see guys what might help you in the processing of your immigration paper so let's go okay present work education training information so provide the following information concerning your current employment or education so my dad is retired so there's a lot of options here guys like if they're still working right now so since my dad is retired i'll just do put the retired do you have any other occupations no in which occupation do you intend to work in the u.s so i just put here guys engineering oh so that's it for this section just click save and then next we're still with the work education guys previous work education training information so please provide the following information where do you where you've previously employed of course yes it says next is provide the provide the following information on all employers from the last 10 years starting with the most recent employer omg guys <laughs> so if you're if the intending immigrant has been working to a lot of companies for the 10 for the past 10 years then you have to put everything guys the thing is this is a really long section guys because you have to put the employer's name the address the city the province or the state the zip code the country the telephone number of the company where you were working before your job title your supervisor's name your supervisor's given name you have to put everything guys and the year you started and the year finish on that company so since my dad just worked for the last 10 years in one company so it's much easier guys and i'm so thankful that my dad has complete details on this this next question guys is have you attended any educational institution at the secondary level above yes it says here level of education you must answer yes to this question if you have ever attended high school college university graduate school doctoral program or any vocational program so what i'm gonna only do here guys for my dad is just input the uh, the vocational school where he attended before for his electrician course 
and also the uh, high school where he attended high school. So if your parent or the intending immigrant attended, of course, high school, attended college, attended master's, then doctorate, then you have to input all of those guys. <laughs> Additional work, education, training, and information, guys, we're, we have three left here. Three more left, but this three guys is a long way to go. <laughs> Good luck to us. So here, for, for, provide the following work, education, or training, related information. Provide complete and accurate information to all questions that require explanation. Have you traveled to any countries, regions within the last five years? My dad, no. Have you ever served in the military? No. Then save. Continue application. Next, petitioner. So it's about the petitioner now, which is me. Petitioner information. Please provide the following information concerning the individual entity that filed a petition on your behalf so petitioner is my of course you can see sister brother mother uncle aunt grandparent stepmother or father but the petitioner is my child so i am the child of the intending immigrant or the beneficiary petitioner your petitioner is generally the u.s person or the business who made the formal request that you be considered for an immigrant visa or green card your petitioner is generally a U.S. citizen relative, your U.S. citizen permanent resident relative, or U.S. employer who's petitioning on your behalf. So I am the child, the petitioner. So you have to put the petitioner's surname, petitioner given names, the address of the petitioner, and then the telephone number, cell number, and then the aim email address that the petitioner is using that's it guys and then save the next security and background security and background medical health and information provide the following security and background information provide complete and accurate information to all questions that require explanation a visa may not be issued to person who are within specific categories defined blah 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 Please note that should you that should you answer yes to any of the following questions, you may be requested to provide documentation to support your explanation. So let's start. Do you have a communicable disease of public health significance such as TB? No. Do you have documentation to establish that you have received the vaccination in accordance with the U.S. law? Yes, because you will be during your medical, you will be given vaccines guys just like when i did my medical six years ago in st luke's in manila so i got i think five vaccines guys they give me five vaccines that time so i answered yes here so you got you'll be undergo you undergo medical as we all know before your interview and next, do you have a mental or physical disorder that poses or is likely to pose a threat to the safety or welfare of yourself or others? No. Are you, are you or have you ever been a drug abuser or addict? No. Then save. Next is criminal. Sec criminal, criminal information. Security and background. Criminal information. The same time, guys, yes or no questions. Have you ever been arrested or convicted? No. Have you ever violated or engaged in conspiracy or violate controlled substances? No. Are you the spouse, son, daughter of an individual who have violated any controlled substance trafficking, etc. for the last five years? No. Are you coming to the U.S. to engage in prostitution? No. Have you ever been involved in or do you seek engaged in money laundering? No. Have you ever been committed or conspired to commit a human trafficking, etc.? No. Have you ever been knowingly aided, abetted, assisted, colluded an individual who has been identified by the President of the United States as a person who plays a significant role in several forms of tra trafficking in persons? No.
Are you the spouse, son, daughter, etc., or conspired to commit a human trafficking offense in the U.S.? Blah blah blah. For the last five years, no. Then save. Next. Still with the security and background, guys. Secret information one. Have you stick to engage espionage? Sabotage, export control violation, illegal activity while in the U.S.? No. Do you seek engage in terrorist activities? No. Have you ever or do you intend to provide financial assistance or other support to terrorists? No. Are you a member of representative of a terrorist organization? Of course not. Are you the spouse, son, blah, 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 who support the terrorists or terrorist organization in the last five years? No. It's a lot of terrorist questions, guys. Have you ever ordered, incited, committed genocide? No. Have you ever committed, participated tor in torture? No. Have you ever committed in kill political killings or other acts of violence? No. Have you ever engaged in recruitment or other use of child soldiers? No. Have you... While serving as a government official, being responsible for the reality carried out severe violations of religious freedom, no. Then you save it. And then security and background security information part two. This is this is really long, guys. Are you a member of or affiliated with communist or other totalitarian party? No. Have you ever directly indirectly assisted? like this groups of in Colombia or revolutionary armed forces blah 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 no have you ever through abuse a government or political position no are you the spouse minor child agent who has through abuse government or political position property and for nation to which United States national had claim or ownership no are long questions guys are you the spouse oh yeah we're done with that have you ever been directly involved in establishment or enforce enforcement of population control forcing a woman to undergo abortion blah 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 no have you ever been disclosed or traffic in confident and confidential u.s business information blah 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 in criminal in chemical web weapons convention no are you the spouse blah 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 Obtained in connection the U.S. participation in the chemical weapons weapons convention. No, then save. It's now. Let's go now to immigration law violations information part one. We're almost done, guys. Have you ever sought, obtained, assist others, obtain visa to? Uh, benefit by fraud or willful misinterpretation or other unlawful means? No. Have you ever been removed or deported from any country? No. Save. Miscellaneous. Yay! We're almost done! <laughs> Miscellaneous information, part one. Have you ever withheld custody of a U.S. citizen child? No. Have you ever intentionally assisted another person in withholding custody of a U.S. citizen? child outside the u.s no have you voted have you both both that have you voted in the u.s in violation of any form or regulation no have you ever renounced u.s citizenship no have you intend attended a public elementary school or secondary school status after november 30 1996 without reimbursing the school no do you seek enter, to enter the U.S. for the purpose of performing skilled or unskilled labor but have not yet been certified by the Secretary of Labor? No. Are you a graduate of a foreign medical school? No, my dad is not a graduate there. No. Then save. Miscellaneous Part 2. Oh. Almost done, guys. Are you a health care worker? Seeking to perform such work in the U.S. but have not received certification from the Commission of CGFNS? No. Are you, a permanent, are you permanently ineligible for U.S. citizenship? No. 
have you ever been departed the have you ever departed the United States in order to evade military service? No. Are you coming to the US to practice polygamy? No. Are you former exchange visitor? No. Has the Secretary of Homeland Security of the US ever determined that you knowingly made a frivolous application for asylum? No. Are you likely to become a public charge? No. Save. Now it's about social security number, guys. Yay! We're almost done. Almost done. Have you ever applied for a social security number? No. Do you authorize disclosure or information from this form to the DHS social security administration as such as U.S. government agencies as may be required? Blah, 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 blah. So this is all about... Uh, um, social security number guys and social security administration information so i we we put yes here guys if you answer no to this question you will not receive a social security card but as you all know social security card or id is very important so i said yes here guys save and then next is review so here guys actually you can print all the questions and inputs and details on this ds260 and i i printed mine guys just to make sure that i don't make any mistake spelling and the year you know guys the addresses that i make sure that the year that i put there are continuous you know and um, you will also be able to check guys details that are really really wrong especially on the third portion the third part of the mo the third last part of this ds 60 guys that ask mostly about yes or no so make sure that you have you know put the right answer guys and you have really read it though it is very long that you really really carefully read it when you answer yes or no and so when I printed out this, guys, I have noticed like I have four wrong spelling. So it is a very good idea that you have you print this and uh, use a pen to check, you know, every detail for you to make sure that you have not uh, forget something to check and there's no mistake anymore. So now, guys, I'm done with everything, and now I'm gonna sign and submit. Click sign and submit. And then here, did anyone assist you in filling out this form? Yes, since since the first place, it should be your parent to do this. But then since I'm the petitioner, I'm here in the States and they're old enough. So they need assistance to do this. So I'm, I'm the one, guys, to prepare this application. So... The question is, did anyone assist you in filling out this form? Yes. And then, of course, my name. Complete name here, guys. And then the address. And then the city and then the state and then the zip code let me recheck it okay can country united states of america relationship to you so i'm the daughter and then here guys you have to enter the nbc case number okay and then enter the passport number and then the code okay sign and submit i'm so scared guys seriously
Okay, you have successfully signed and submit your application. You cannot make any changes or at this point. Please commence to complete the application confirmation. Immigrant visa and alien registration application. Thank you. You have successfully submitted an immigrant visa and alien registration application. You must bring to your visa interview proof that you submitted this form by printing information page using the low button. You don't print a copy of the screen. Use the print confirmation button to print a page. Print. Print confirmation. You must bring to your visa interview proof that you submitted this form by printing a confirmation page using the below button. Okay. Print. To print a page with a unique barcode related to your visa application, you can print confirmation from this website at any time. So it's printing right now, guys. Guys, downstairs. Okay, I have to pro print the form this to sixty as well. So guys, after that, you can also print the confirmation, you can print the DS-260, at the same time, you can email the confirmation. That's, so that's what we're going to do right now. Do you want to send your confirmation to an additional email address? Yes. Okay. Just put another email address, guys, just in case, you know, there's some, you know, problem that will happen to my email or I forgot the password or... Let's say I just I deleted it so at least I have another backup guys. Email confirmation. Okay. So it also show here guys some instructions regarding the visa interview. Next step, your immigrant visa and alien registration DS260 was sent to the NVC for review. However, NVC will not review your DS260 until they have received and required receive the required financial and civil documents that you must also submit if you have not sent nvc those please do so now visit blah 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 and review steps four to six for instructions nvc will review your ds260 every application financial and civil documents upon receipt of all documents if the documents submitted are insufficient and complete nvc will send instruction on how to correct your submission NBC cannot schedule your interview until your supporting documentation is complete. So your visa interview, once you have a visa interview appointment, you need to obtain and submit photographs that meet the Department of State's visa requirements. Review the information of the U.S. Embassy where your visa interview occur. Please use the buttons below for information on this item as well as instructions for submitting documents to NBC. During the interview with a consular officer, you will be required to sign your application by providing a biometric signature. In other words, your fingerprints by providing this biometric signature, you are certified under penalty perjury that you have read and understood the questions in your immigrant visa application. You are also cert certifying that all statements of your immigrant visa have been made by you and through and complete to the best of your knowledge and belief. At the time, your interview will also be required to certify under penalty. Okay. So that's it, guys. I hope you find this videos really helpful especially if you are filing for your parents your spouse your children or any members of your family that will be coming here in the States and you are doing now the IV application in seattlestate.gov so guys God bless everybody stay safe see you in the next video when I got already the feedback from the seattlestate.gov at the same time guys before i go i have to um to upload one more video guys on how on how i did my my uploading i need to say how i upload how i did my uploading <laughs> how i did how i upload all the civil documents guys in the IB application so i'm gonna show you that guys on the next video Please subscribe to my channel guys, please do, see you!